Hey, Elaine here with Sweet Stampin', and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this fun snowflake card with a surprise inside. All right, this is my fun spinning snowflake card. So you can wind up the snowflake before you close the card, and then close the card, and then when you open the card, the snowflake will spin depending on how tight it is and how much you wind it up. It looks like mine got a little bit loose. So um, this is a really fun card to make. I'm going to start with this top layer right here. I'm going to start by using the blending brushes. I'm going to use Pool Party and I'm just going to brush in different places. And I'm doing this first before I emboss so that the whole piece is smooth and if I would have done it the other way I feel like some of the color might have um, caught on some of the embossing on some of the raised parts so I just wanted to make everything soft and smooth like snowflakes so now I'm going to do some Highland Heather So now I'm going to use the Snowflake Sky embossing folder. I'm going to put my colored side on the same side as the Stampin' Up! logo, and I'm going to put it down towards the bottom so I have more snowflakes at the top and less snowflakes at the bottom. So here I have the front of a card, and I have used a 11 by 4 and a quarter piece of cardstock, scored at 5 and a half, and I'm going to fold it sideways like this for my card. And then this is going to be layered on top. So now for the inside piece of the card, I have a 10 and 3 quarter by 4 piece of basic white. And I have scored this at 3 and 1 eighth, 5 and 3 eighths, and 8 and one eight. So these measurements are a little bit odd, um, but I realized that you needed to do a smaller middle so that your snowflake would not show when you close the card. So I'm going to do a little bit of stamping and decoration on both sides of this inner piece. So I'm using a bit of our masking paper and I'm just going to place this uh, to this line. I embossed the middle also with the Snowflake Sky card and I'm going to use the Pool Party ink again just to create a base color. Now for my second layer, I'm just going to move this over a little bit so that it's in the middle here. I'm going to use the snowflake mask that is part of the Abundant Beauty decorative masks that are in the mini catalog and are retiring. And so I just wanted to include these as well since they do have snowflakes on them. I wanted to do just everything snowflakes. So just gonna get some of the Highland Heather ink in each of the snowflake areas. So I'm just building layers of color here. So we did the pool party, we did the Highland Heather, so now I'm gonna add some stamping with Gorgeous Grape. So I'm gonna stamp the middle size stamp and the small stamp. So I'm just gonna kind of go right in those open spaces. And just for fun, I want to add some of these little splatters from the Regal Reindeer stamp set kind of 
in some of the open areas. Now I'm going to stamp two snowflakes to be our spinning snowflake. So I'm going to do, let's see, one right here in Pool Party. And then another one over here in Pool Party. So this is the stamp set, Sparkling Snowflakes, and each snowflake has a background image and a detailed image, and there's also four sentiments. So you can stamp the background and then stamp the detailed image on top for a really cool looking snowflake. Now I'm just going to fussy cut these snowflakes out. this very very thin nylon transparent thread and I'm just gonna cut some off here I'm gonna use two very small pieces of tape and I'm just going to try to make this as taut as possible as tight as possible so I'll tape the first one and then I'm gonna pull it as tight as I can and then I'll tape the second one and then as for the snowflake, I'm going to line up the transparent thread with the two points. And I'm going to use um, some of this red liner sticky tape. And I'm going to put that right there in the middle to hold that thread together. And then I'll add a little bit of adhesive to the sides. going to line up the two snowflakes and then we have our snowflake our spinning snowflake just need to trim our threads okay now we can place this inside the card so I'm just going to lay it flat to make sure everything lines up the most important thing is to line up the center score lines and then just put some adhesive on the two outer panels All right, and then we have our inside spinning panel. So if we wind this up and close the card and then open the card, our snowflake will spin. So our last step is just to do a little bit of decorating on the front of the card. So I have the second largest circle from the Stylish Shapes dies and this really pretty label from the Natural Prints dies. So I'm gonna start by stamping this sentiment in Gorgeous Grape. And then I'm gonna add some Pool Party snowflakes to the side. I'm just going to stamp off first. Then I'm going to add one large pool party stamp, one medium Highland Heather stamp, and one small gorgeous grape. So I'm just going to add to add these to I'm just going to add these to the card with dimensionals starting with the circle. And then I'm going to use some of these glitter sequins. I love 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 these glitter sequins all over the front of the card. And that is my spinning snowflake card using the sparkling snowflake stamp set. <music>